Right. These sounds have been absolutely destroying my jets, and it's time for that to stop. Here's my plan. We're going to strap a bomb to the jet, and we're going to get the jet to bomb the SAMs. Now, considering SAMs are literally built just to destroy jets, you might think this is pretty stupid. And yeah, it is pretty stupid. Anyway, we're going to use artificial intelligence to do this, and so we need to train an AI. Before we can train the AI, we first need an environment for it to be able to train in. I tested out a few different environments, and this one was the best one. I created a square floor with a target at the center. The jet would then spawn in some random position and orientation. If the jet went too far from the center, touched the floor or went too high up, the simulation would restart. During each frame of the simulation, the jet would calculate what position the bomb would land if it dropped it at that very moment. We would then take the distance from the position the bomb would land to the target and then calculate a reward for the jet based on that distance. The reward being higher, the closer the bomb would land to the target. Mind you, this is happening every frame, and there could be up to a thousand frames in the simulation as long as the jet doesn't cause it to restart. Of course, we only take the jets who have the highest total reward at the end of their simulation, and so the jets that just instantly crash into the floor and die will get very little rewards. Those that manage to survive for the full 1000 steps will then get a much higher reward and will be choose for later generations. Since the reward is also based on how close the bomb would land to the target, the jets that are most likely to bomb the target accurately will be chosen as well. Lastly, if the jet goes to a point in which if it were to drop the bomb, it would land on the target, the jet will drop the bomb and it will get a reward. A new target will then spawn and the jet will be able to bomb that for even more rewards. Okay, so now that we have done the environment for the AI, it's time to actually work on the AI itself. All an AI is, is something that turns inputs into outputs. The outputs are fairly straightforward. There's only two of them. One for pitch, and one for roll. For the inputs, however, we're going to have position, velocity, and orientation. We're also going to add an extra input. This is going to be the position the bomb would land if the jet dropped it at that very moment. This input isn't necessary and the AI would be able to figure that out itself. It's just that the training would take significantly longer. And realistically, it wouldn't be too hard to calculate this even in real life scenarios. Alright, so it's finally time to start training the jets. Here we have 9 of them, side by side to speed up the training. Let's take a look at how the jet performed at the very start of its training. And what better way to do that than to clone the jet 50 times and have it compete with itself? Alright, so as we'd expect, the jet's performance is trash. At the start, its behavior is entirely random. So let's fast forward an hour and see if it's developed any logic. Well, it's been an hour and the jets are still pretty trash, but I want you to watch closely. If you look carefully, you'll see that some of the jets have learned to slightly pitch up to stop themselves from hitting the ground too soon. The jets are now 3 hours into their training and we can finally start seeing some logic. As you can see, they've learned to pull up. They still end up exploding though, because when they go too far from the center, they automatically blow up. We're now 9 hours in, and the jets have learned how to steer to the target. Some have even been successful in bombing it. The jets that are frozen in place are the ones that have been successful in bombing the target. We've frozen the jets in place just to stop things from getting really messy. But don't worry, we'll show you the best jet bombing some targets soon. So we've reached the end. This is the best AI. It's been training for a whole day and 12 hours, and this is what it looks like. I could have also trained the AI for longer, but we'd have to stop somewhere. Alright, so the jet can bomb the target, but the missile launcher is not even shooting at it. Let's take a single jet and see how it fares against multiple missile launchers.
Just to clarify, in that montage, none of the jet's behavior was scripted. It was all done by the AI. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video and want to see more, consider subscribing. I've got a lot more videos like this planned, and if you like this one, I reckon you'll love the others. And you can like this video if you want to boost my morale. If you've got any questions about this video or want to give me some feedback, I'd always be happy to hear about it in the comments. Anyway, that's enough from me, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.